Hey guys, it's Julie with Julie's Designs. Today is a DIY for resale video where I show you everything that I made during the week. I'll tell you what I paid for it, how I transform it, and what I will be asking for it. I love these videos because that means I got a lot of stuff done during the week and y'all know I love to be productive. So all the stuff behind me is actually gonna get sold on a Facebook Live sale. That is how I sell my stuff. I have four kids, so this is just the easiest way and most convenient way for me to do it. And if you don't know what a Facebook Live is, y'all need to know. It is the new way to sell. Nobody wants to leave the house. Everybody wants to shop from home, but you get to engage and interact with your customers. I have a whole video about doing Facebook Live sales, and I will put a link to that video in the description below. So... I'm just gonna grab some stuff and then we're gonna talk about it. Okay, these I just made, was it last night? I don't know, it was very recent. And y'all, I am like really pat myself on the back. I cranked out a lot of stuff. My daughter, the baby actually had the flu and I think knowing that I had this sale coming kind of forced me to be productive when I could. So I like that, like it gives me a goal to get stuff done because I'm just that kind of person, I need a goal. <laughs> Look how cute. Let me show you. I thought about selling them as a set, but I decided to sell them separately because when you put them like this, or like this, they kind of match. These are the bird bowls from IOD. I think it's called Songbird. I actually absolutely love these. And so I'm trying to work through my hoard and get rid of everything. So I just grabbed these. I had five of them. They're from Ikea. Is that the right way? They're from Ikea. Like when I took a trip over there months ago, I still had these left over. I think they were 49 cents. And I did the baking soda and chalk paint mixture on them in the color mineral. And then I white waxed them. I have a whole video on this as well. Oh yeah, I forgot to say that. So if I have a specific video telling you how I got, I redid something, I'll put in a link below in case you want like very specific details because I'm just giving you an overview here of what I did to them. And then this one, I always try to style at least one of mine when I'm showing it for sale because a lot of people like need to show them what to do with it and it really helps it sale. So this is some lavender stuff that they're selling at Walmart. It was $3, but I actually, it was kind of sparse. So I actually added some stuff to it. And then I put some old book paper around it. It just had like some tissue paper. So I think this looks super cute. And I actually might add the this to the sale. Like if they want this, it would be $8. And then the little, we're gonna call them planters, the bird planters, I'm gonna sell for $10 each. So if they wanted the whole piece together, it would be $18. I'm not always willing to sell my floral, but when I am, I will give them a price of the floral and the piece. So I have four of these, cause I actually have five, but I'm keeping one for myself. And I'm gonna sell these for $10 each. They are so, so cute. I just, I love these bird molds. Everything looks better with the bird on it. Okay, do y'all remember the sheep dog? from like a video maybe two months ago. It hasn't sold. I ended up painting it white. I couldn't deal with the, the blue. So I painted it white, I distressed it, and I brought the price down to $15. So I haven't like advertised these for sale. So really, unless my customers came to my house and saw it, or they watched my YouTube video, they would not even know that this was for sale. But since I don't like it, they're getting a discount. We're going to do $15 on the Sheepdog because the other one I have left, it's the last one. This one's 30 does not come with the lavender. So this one is also the baking soda gray paint mixture with um, the crockery stamp that is put on clay. So you put clay and then the crockery stamp. I will put the video in the description below, but this is super, super fun. If y'all haven't tried this technique with clay, I am, I've never worked be with clay before in my life until I did this video and I love it so much. So this piece is getting sold for $30 and these are free. Like these are just paint buckets that I kept cause you know, we use a lot of paint. 
Oh, I got two little ones left too. These are the only two little ones I have left. It's the gray one with the crockery stamp and this one, kind of rusty one. And these I'm gonna sell for $15. So everything has a price, everything has an item number, and it corresponds to my paper that I filled out. Let me show y'all. So I have the item numbers that are written on the tags, the description, and the price, and then I'll write whoever buys it on here, and that's how I do it. Okay, I think this was in my latest video, where all these embroidery hoops. I can't wait to find out what my customers think about this. So these are going to be $14. These are just plain and they have a little pocket so you can put greenery or whatever you want. I mean, how stinking cute are these? So those are $14. This one is $15 because it's just extra cute. We got to add a dollar in. Love that one. I got the little butterflies. These are $6. And these embroidery hoops, I mean, I might have paid like 25 cents for them. These are going to be $14. So what it is, is just drop cloth. I put stamps on these. I will link the video down below. This one's bigger. This one's 20. How cute is this to put like in an entryway or something? You just change out the floral for the seasons. So this is just two pieces of drop cloth that creates a little um, envelope. Absolutely adorable. Okay, I did. So to get so much stuff done, I just like gathered a bunch of stuff that I wanted to do a similar effect. So I do have a lot of this cement look. So this one also had the clay with the stamp and I'm supposed to put some floral in here and I forgot. And this one's going to be $18. No, I'm sorry, $14, but it's item number 18. <laughs> $14 for this little floral pot. I might have paid a dollar for it. I really don't know. It wasn't much for sure. Oh, I do want to tell y'all, I think at the beginning I said I used the mineral color chalk paint, but actually what I did, because I've been using so much of this and I haven't found any difference between using chalk paint and using latex paint. So I painted a little swatch of the mineral color from Waverly because it is my favorite color of gray. Then I went to my local car hardware store and had them color match it. And I've been using that. I got a quart of it. I've been using that. So it goes like a lot further and it's cheaper than buying a bunch of chalk paint. I got it in a flat finish. Um, so this is one that I painted with the color mineral. And this is the color match from a hardware store. So yeah, if you want to save you some money, just do a color match and go get you, I mean, you can get a gallon of it if you want. A Walmart is super cheap for a paint, but I couldn't find a person to help me. So <laughs> I went to my local hardware store where I could find a person to help me. And then I think I might've showed y'all these on the last video, but I didn't sell them on my live. I didn't even put them up for sale. So tonight they're going up for sale. This one has the number 10 on it and it is super cute. And this is the one with the hole. And I always add like a little twine and a little greenery because I just think just that little added detail just makes it look so much cuter. This was like an ugly brown bowl that I just put the cement texture on it. And this is gonna be so cute in somebody's kitchen. Oh, caution. Word of caution. Okay, so these cement things, especially the tray ones, even though I put white wax on them, I go back and put Rust-Oleum clear coat on them just because I know they're going to get a lot of use and I want to make sure that they are protected and people can wipe them down if they want. But y'all, this one I went to spray the clear coat on, didn't pay attention, sprayed white spray paint. So then I had to redo the inside. Oh, so pay attention so you don't have to go back and redo stuff. This is so cute. This one is $18 and like I might've paid $2 for this. I don't pay a lot for my stuff. This is a tarnished silver tray. I have two of those. 
So I think I might be done with all my tarnished silver. Like I went it up in the attic, I grabbed everything. Like it's all gonna get done. This paint texture has been so popular and I'm sorry if you love tarnished silver, so do I, but it does not sell unpainted and nobody's enjoying it sitting up in my attic. So I brought it all down, I painted it all, we're gonna get it sold and off to a new home where somebody's gonna enjoy it. So this one is $18 for this big tray. I love these, I actually have one that I'm keeping because they re look really good for staging. So I wanna, since I don't have any more tarnished silver, I'm like, I need to keep one for myself so I have something to stage with. And this is just an oval one with some pretty details. And I think these I made right on the same video that I made the embroidery hoops. So I wanted to have a bunch of these done for my sale, but I just didn't get to finish them. But I got them all cut to size. I got the holes in them with the string and I got the antiquing wax mixture on them. So like they're ready, like they're almost there. I just need to put the drop cloth on. So what I decided to do was take orders tonight. It's, this is $14 with just a drop cloth. This one is $18 with just the drop cloth. But to add the lace, because it's extra fabric and extra time, it's gonna add $2. So this will be $20 with the lace. So what I'm gonna do is I'll take orders and then since I still have to make, like put the drop cloth and all on, I'll let my customer decide. And I'm like, okay, if you want me to add lace, then it'll just add $2 to the price. So that's what I'm gonna do tonight. I think I can, I have five more of these cut and five more of these. So I have six of each. Um, to sell tonight instead of just two. So if you don't 100% finish the product, you can definitely take orders during your sale as well. It just depends how much I want to work. You know, sometimes you have a sale and then you take orders and it's like, oh my God, now I got all this other work to do. But these are like just so cute. And Y'all can see what the staging does to them. It just really makes it look so much nicer when you just add a little staging to it because I feel like people would have a hard time trying to imagine what to do with this, but you stage it up, you give them a vision. You know, they might think, oh, I could put something else in here, but this is kind of a jumping off point for them. Staging is so important, y'all, so important. Okay, y'all remember these from like, a bunch of videos ago <laughs> I had thrifted these and thought of this idea but apparently it is something that Walmart always keeps in stock so I went pick up four more placemats and I'm like that is it I'm doing a limited edition of these I had two orders for them I made four I'm not making any more so I have this small one right here and then I have the taller one to sell tonight. And that is it. I am not making any more of these. So the placemats were, I think like $2.50. And then I just used fence boards that were free. I am sorry if I'm forgetting to tell y'all what I paid for stuff, but I feel like I have been. Sometimes I just get to talking and I forget to um, give y'all all the details. You know how it is. Okay. Do y'all remember when I thrifted that big screen? It had, well, it didn't have a screen on it like it used to be a screen. Let me see if I can grab this. Ugh. So somebody wanted a sign for their camp. This thing is really big. Um, their camp. And so they wanted it to be like long and rustic. And I'm like, I got the perfect thing. So... I'm like, I have this old screen door and she wanted to say Louisiana Saturday night. This thing is like six feet long. So this is a big one. I use this as a frame. I put fencing in the back, which is what I like to use to create my signs. And then I drew on the letters and she's so excited. She hasn't picked it up yet, but she's supposed to be picking it up this week. And it is exactly what you wanted. And I think it is going to look amazing in a camp. So let me get this up. Oh, try not to knock anything out. Y'all, 
Then I have two mirrors that were actually given to me, so free. And if you added up what I spent on this stuff, it was very, very little. Like a lot of this stuff was free or like $2 or less. All right, you're gonna see my camera, but this is a mirror. It was gray before and I did black. And then I put some white wax and then I felt like it just needed something more. It was just too boring for me. So then I added the tissue, the tissue, the uh, cinnamon to on top of the white wax and then you just kind of push it in and it makes it look like rust. Isn't this so cute? So this was free and I am asking $25 for this mirror. And then this next one is really big and heavy. Let me try not to break that one. This was also given to me. So if you want to get free stuff, just don't be scared to let people know what you do. Like nothing bad has ever happened for me letting people know that I resale. They got stuff and they want to get rid of it. They call me, send me pictures, ask me if I want it. Sometimes I say no, but sometimes I say yes. Oh, all right. Y'all see this mirror? So what I did to this one, it was already black and I wouldn't say distressed. I would say it was worn. It had given, lived a good life. It had some damage and all. So what I did was I just distressed it, distressed it to make sure it looked more naturally distressed, you know what I'm saying? Where it wasn't like damaged. And then I added some white wax to it. So it has like three colors going on. It has like the under layer color and then it has the black, then it has the white wax. And this is so, so pretty. I feel like this will work in so many different styles of home decor. And I'm selling that for $40, which I feel like it's a great price for a mirror. It was free. It did not take me that long to upcycle it. So I'm going to pass on the savings to my customer. And that is it, guys. I hope y'all enjoy this video. I hope y'all found it informative. If I forgot to say something, just leave a comment below and let me know. I always try to answer all of y'all questions. Y'all have a wonderful day and I will see y'all in the next video. Thanks for watching and give this video a big